Hey guys, having a hard time deciding what dex token to buy? Well, you're in luck. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Aerodrome, Velodrome, and Uniswap. We're going to be looking at their DeFi Llama, TVL stats, unlocks, our unlock schedules. We're going to look at their charts, and we're actually going to look at the apps real quick too. So before we get into that, if you guys don't mind hitting that thumbs up down below, and if you want more content like this for uh, DEXs, altcoins, etc., hit that subscribe button right next to it. So let's kick it off first with Aerodrome here. And we're going to start out with the apps just to show you guys the apps. And I'll move my camera down here for you. So actually, we'll go bottom right. Um, there we go. So Aerodrome, Velodrome, very, very, very similar built by, for the most part, the same team. I believe Aerodrome as of right now is a fork of Velodrome version 2. And it's been modified a bit. Uh, it's got... Uh, Basically everything is the same here, though. All, all the same stuff. You got your liquidity on both sides. You've got your swaps. Uh, it's really the same, or at least very similar tokenomics, and they look almost identical. So as far as using them, one is basically interchangeable with the other. But we'll still go through them real quick. So this is Aerodrome, and it is on night mode, so it looks might look a little different to you guys. You can look at all the pools here that you want to get into, and uh, the native token, by the way, is the Aero token. Uh, the Velo token is for Velodrome, and Uniswap, of course, has the Uni token, one of the one of the older tokens, uh, one of the first airdrops too. If you guys didn't know, one of the most famous ones, early ones, anyway. So there are a lot of uh, pulls here, four pages worth of this, uh, concentrated to stable to uh, whatever. You can you can look through various different filters here to find them. Uh, very easy to use. I've got a couple I'm running right now just to just for fun. Uh, very easy to get into and uh, uh, seems to be pretty pretty painless to get out of as well. So for swapping, there are a lot of tokens here. I don't think any other base chain, Uniswap has a, a good selection, but I don't think any other base DEX, base chain DEX has as many really as Aerodrome does. As you guys can see, just an absolute ton of coins here. A lot of these are meme coins and that's fine. Uh, they gotta have a home somewhere, so. Aerodrome has a very great selection. Um, everything else is pretty standard here. Their Twitters are very similar, so we're not going to go into that. Uh, and I'm going to go to Velodrome next just because they're so similar. This is their version of the uh, liquidity. And if you guys didn't notice, I mean, very, very, very similar. So same filters you can use here. Uh, APRs are actually very similar. Uh, the, the main difference here is that Velodrome is on Optimism. Aerodrome is on base, uh, both on the OP stack, super chain, they're, they're often referred to. So uh, swapping here, of course, optimism token, and there's no base token for anybody that's new. Uh, just Aero, Ethereum over there, nothing, no optimism. So, or no OP token or anything like that. So you can see that there are still quite a few tokens here on Velodrome. Uh, a whole lot, right? So good selections on both, a uh, couple of crossovers there too even, uh, but really, really great selection here. Easy to use again to just connect, you authorize a couple things and then you swap. Super, super simple, very smooth, very simple, not a whole lot of pizzazz to these. Don't need it, right? Same thing with Uniswap though, not a whole lot of pizzazz here. And you got their swap and Uniswap is Multi-chain, all the chains are actually right here. The other two were singular. Uh, of course, Arrow, like I said, was base, and Velodrome was the OP, uh, Optimism. Uh, Uniswap, however, covers all of the chains uh, in Layer 2. So Ethereum, Arbitrum, uh, Optimism, Polygon, Base, BNB Chain, Avalanche, uh, Celo, and Blast, as of now, probably going to add more in the future, too. Wouldn't be surprised if Linea makes it on here and a few others. Uh, ZK Sync, maybe even. Who knows? Um, token selection on the main net, very, very decent. Um, you can switch pretty easily to base, check out all the base tokens. Not nearly as many as, as you would see, but you can search and find a few more than show up here. So there are more tokens than, than, than you can see right now. So Uniswap, pretty easy to use, old, very well, very, very, very trusted. And you know, a little bit of NFT game here. You can get into their pools. If you want to create some positions, you can. Uh, all sorts of other stuff here that you can check into. A little bit more flushed out, a little more user friendly maybe I would say, just because they've been around longer, maybe they developed that. But uh, you get the businessy feel from Aerodrome and Velodrome, and I believe that was their intent back when they started. 
Uh, and of course, Velodrome was uh, the, the original here. I think they actually forked off another Dex at a certain point, and I can't remember which that was, but Aerodrome was a fork off that, and uh, they just wanted to get into base and, and get, get going there too. So um, that's the three apps. Uh, like I said, very, very similar. Um, and and I, I really like the stats here you can see on Uniswap. I think that's very cool that you can come in here and see all the, the volume and everything that they have going. Uh, makes things very handy to, to come and check out. As far as base versus optimism, because I think that's important if, if you're not even looking at Uniswap because Uniswap is such a, a high ranking token that, that you might not think it's going to move much. You might be wrong, by the way. But if you're looking at the other two because they're smaller and you think there's more upside potential, which there, there, there might be. Um, Gosh, I, I really think it's going to go to base on this one. So TVL on Optimism, 920, we can call that 921 million. Base, 1.6 billion. So base is a lot bigger and it got there a lot quicker. Uh, the charts show it here. Optimism's been fighting it. And who knows what this is going to look like in a year. If, this, if these swap, then my opinion might swap too. I might think Velodrome would be potentially the stronger based on the TVL factor here. If you look down, protocol rankings, Aerodrome's number one, Uniswap's number two. So don't discount Uniswap. Uniswap is an absolute beast in the DEX game. It is one of these, probably the biggest DEX out there, uh, one of the strongest out there. And they're about to take on the SEC. And I would not put that as a negative for them. I think them taking on the SEC is a positive because, or at least equal, because every DEX out there is going to suffer the fate that Uniswap suffers or the victory that they win. So Uniswap is fighting a good fight, whether you like them or not, they are fighting for uh, a lot of chains in crypto. Velodrome is number two here on Optimism. Uniswap's number four, so in comparison, just, just not as busy over here. Velodrome sitting at 166.6 million versus Aerodrome's 730.5 million. So five times or so bigger, four times bigger, quite, quite a bit bigger here for Aerodrome. They are doing a little bit better over there. And we can actually go into each chain here and look at a couple things. So this is Aerodrome, 730 million um, locked. Um, whoops, wrong one there. You can see a, a, just a steep rise as, as soon as Dencoon came out. And for Velodrome, which we just pulled up, kind of, kind, kind of. Uh, if, uh, they've been around for a little bit longer, of course. We zoom in here. Uh, something like that similar to base you don't see quite the jump that you saw with aerodrome and that's because base just shot up so strongly in my opinion and aerodrome just was there at the right time to to support it uh, and i'm sure coinbase and, and everyone's working with aerodrome too to to make this successful and and both teams are probably uh, I, I think both teams share uh, developers as well so anyway it, it seems it seems for sure that aerodrome is performing better than Velodrome right now. Things can change, of course. So this is something you guys want to keep an eye on, and this is all DeFi Llama, and it's all free. Uh, the one thing I do like to look at is fees and revenue, and I'll pull up Uniswap too in just a second, but I want to compare these two. Um, so fees, uh, this is daily. Let's do weekly, a little easier to read. And there we go. So we were looking at 1.5 here on March 23rd for optimism on, uh, excuse me, on Velodrome. 1.5 million in fees in Aerodrome. Oof, over three times as many the same week. So you're making, there's a lot more money make, being made here in Aerodrome than, um, than, uh, than Velodrome. So that to me is, is huge. So last week, 1.89, let's see what we had last week for Velodrome. Ooh, that's a lot. That is a lot. That was 1.89 million. So almost 2 million versus uh, almost 3 million. Uh, oh my gosh. So nearly nearly six times as much being made over on Aerodrome just last week. So that, that's pretty impressive to me right there. Um, and you can just kind of overlay these charts too if you want to look at them, but man, it's, 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 looking pretty good over here on aerodrome we'll check out the volume real quick too let me scroll up to that compare the two and actually we can i'll, I'll compare some uh i'll compare aerodrome to uniswap in a second and volume looks pretty good too it's pretty steady here uh, a big sharp rise in march which both of those are probably going to show uh, yeah right there same thing so again this is a, a much bigger chart than, than we're seeing in velodrome but something like that would be comparable so or excuse me an aerodrome so uh, Velodrome being older. 
So there is that. Uh, there is something that I can't show you, and I'll come to that in a second for Aerodrome, but I do want to compare Aerodrome to Uniswap here real quick for fees and volume. We'll go back to weekly, and then I'll pull up Uniswap here. Uniswap just killing it, 5.82 billion for TVL. Just an absolute beast. Uh, fees and revenue. Fees and revenue on the weekly here. They're a little bit more difficult to pull up, but we're making some serious money here in, uh, I mean, I don't even, I don't, I'm not even gonna add all that. That is an insane amount right there. I mean, you're talking probably over 100 million right there. So much, much more coming into Uniswap. There are a lot more token holders though in, in my, if I had to guess, so those fees get spread out a little bit more uh, because you are f spreading fees now if you're staking the, the Uni uh, token. So. Uh, that did pass back in early March and they had a very, very, very big uh, price increase when that uh, proposition came out. So let's look at, let's look at unlocks here. I can't look at unlocks on, cannot look at unlocks on Aerodrome because they are not listed right now. I've been having a hard time finding the, the unlock schedule here. For Velodrome, it's not, it's not the worst I've ever seen. Uh, but there is a, a decent unlock schedule here coming out. So uh, th there's a lot to be unlocked still. Um, let's see. We'll look at that in a second. But, uh, I mean, we, we, we're, we're, we've we're made good progress to where we need to be. The worst was over here. And now we're, we've just got a, a bit more uh, slower times in front of us for unlocks. A bit more, though. For Uniswap, we're getting towards the end, it looks like. Um, looking pretty good. Pretty linear here. Uh, this curve over here was kind of nasty, kind of a steep curve up, and now we're slowing down at least for Velodrome, or we will be here in the future. Still, still not the best, but not the worst. But Uniswap looks a little bit better. So you've got quite a bit more uh, unlocked tokens with the Uniswap. You're looking at 94% over here. Uh, on uh, Aerodrome, you're only looking at 73%. So not the worst, but again, not, not the best either. So uh, let's go to their coin market cap here. So their charts... This is where things get interesting, right? So Aerodrome sitting at number 219 by market cap, and this could be different if you go to a different ranking site like Coin Market Cap versus Coin Gecko, for example. Uh, you might get slightly different numbers, but 219 for Aerodrome, Velodrome is 418, and then Uniswap's gonna be way higher at and number 23 for Uniswap. So Uniswap's a lot bigger than Velodrome or Aerodrome, Velodrome being the smallest of the three. So the upside or, or the downside potentially would be that with such a big market cap, you might not get the 10, 20X out of Uniswap that, that you might see in the others. And if you do, you're potentially gonna see even more of a 20, 30X in, in these. And I, and I think that's a bit high, I'm just giving an example. Um, Velodrome, Aerodrome, they could, I, I could, I could see a 10 X in these pretty easy. Uniswap, Bitcoin's going to have to five X from where it's at now, six X from where it's at now for Uniswap to 10 X in my opinion. Uh, not, not impossible, but it could be challenging. Uh, we'll, we'll see what 2025 brings. Don't rule it out by any means. Uh, it, it's crypto. It's very much a possibility, but I'm a little more conservative than most. So. That would be probably a downside for Uniswap being that big. Velodrome, I think if any of them were gonna be moving quickly or have the, the ease as far as market cap goes, it would be Velodrome to move up just because they're so small. But between Velodrome and Aerodrome, all the activity is on Aerodrome. So that kind of leads me to think that if one of them would do it based on demand, uh, supply and demand, or just hype, it's probably gonna be Aerodrome. So you can see the different arguments here that people can make. Um, for the record, uh, I didn't read the prices. Aerodrome sitting at a dollar twenty-six. Velodrome seventeen cents, and Uniswap seven ninety. And remember, uh, market caps really what you want to go by here. Price of the coin doesn't matter unless you're comparing the coin to itself. Uh, but price of coin to another price of coin is is irrelevant. So, market caps what you want to go by. Uh, for circulating supply here, we can see that 42, uh, about 42% of Aerodrome is unlocked. So there's, there's a good 58% out there that needs to be unlocked still. Uh, Velo, we're looking, looking a little bit less. So those numbers weren't matching up fully for me there, but it looks like uh, about a 
third, 40, uh, 40% of Velo is out there in circulating supply. And then with Uniswap, we're at about 60% circulating supply. So I'm not sure where all those are, uh, where everything's at, but most of that is, is unlocked for Uniswap, it looks like. Uniswap's been around for, I think, 2018 or 19. And it's been around for quite some time now. I, I actually don't remember when they first launched. I think it was 19. Uh, we're going back to 20s here, but I thought it was longer. So anyway, um, gosh, between the two of these, honestly, with the activity in base lately and the layer twos picking up, unless Optimism does something, I'm leaning towards Aerodrome personally. I don't think that Velodrome's in a bad position though, given that it had such a steep rise and it's had a huge sell-off, which I think is, is unwarranted. Uh, Bitcoin's been pulling things down lately. I do think that this could short term give some good potential for a turnaround, but it really depends on what happens in the market. This this could continue to go down a bit before it reverses. I think they're all going to do well though, and it's really what what uh, ecosystem are you to? Is it base? Is it optimism? Do you like all of them? Or are you just a Uniswap fan because you want something that covers everything? And that's that's completely valid if you are, and that's all right. Uh, I think Uniswap might be the safest of them all because. It's the oldest, it's the biggest. Uh, the fee sharing is huge. Everybody is enjoying that right now. So uh, you got some pros and cons to each of them. Uh, I personally think Uniswap is in a fantastic position right now for buying. I, I, I can't believe that it hit, uh, let's see what we actually hit here. Probably about just under $7, which is crazy to me. This is when the Wells notice came out that the SEC sent to, to Uniswap saying, hey, we're you're doing something we don't like, which probably means they're going to court. Just a huge sell-off, <laughs> just just completely silly, uh, complete utter craziness right here. Uh, I, I can't believe the Uniswap token is this cheap right now. It's the biggest DEX out there. It's the oldest DEX out there. It's one of the safest crypto projects there is, and, and here it is at, at a huge discount. And I think people are going to pick, I'm certain people are going to pick up on that soon. So uh, if you guys are looking for a more conservative, but still altcoin and still probably going to get you a lot of gains type of buy i'd say uniswap uh, and again between velodrome and aerodrome i i really am siding with aerodrome but if you went with velodrome you're you're doing all right too like i said that's a huge sell-off for velodrome and optimism op could pick up pretty quickly and if it does velodrome is going to be where people go it is going to be the biggest decks there so each of these have their selling points uh, you guys need to figure out which one you really want to get based on that information and then um you know, try and find some aerodrome unlocks. I'll, I'll look into that too a little bit more if I can find it, get that out there because that information is pretty important too. So hopefully this helped you guys get a little bit of introduction between the three and maybe gave you a little bias towards one of them or at least helped you lean towards one. Um, I like them all. They're all, they're all three a great project. I've used all three. I've swapped on all three and I've provided liquidity on all three. Uh, it's hard to pick a favorite, but I do think Uniswap, as far as user experience, is my favorite. But gosh, I really do like using Base too, so it's 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 a tough choice. But again, um, sometimes I like to be a little more conservative, so Uniswap something that I'm personally interested in, and then Aerodrome as number two. Uh, and and I and I do think Aerodrome will probably outperform Uniswap, but it is a little more risky, so keep that in mind too. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Thanks for checking the video out. I'll put more of these out in the future, but if you did enjoy this, please hit the thumbs up down below. And if you want more, uh, just hit that subscribe button next to it. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.